Hello, 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 and welcome to the show where I can't think of a quick and snippy intro, so let's just go to the card we're dealing with today. Today we're looking at Spike Feeder, a 0 0 for 2 green and 1 that comes into play with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. You can pay 2 to remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from Spike Feeder to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on a target creature, or you can remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from Spike Feeder and you gain 2 life. And that's the ability we're looking at for today. Now this ability works perfectly with cards that care about life gain and plus 1 plus 1 counters, such as Sunbond, an aura for white and 3 that says Enchanted Creature has, whenever you gain life, put that many plus 1 plus 1 counters on Enchanted Creature. This ability also combos with Archangel of Thune, a 3-4 flyer with lifelink for 2 white and 3 that says whenever you gain life, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. So this combo is pretty straightforward and this will be pretty quick to explain, so let's go straight to the battlefield to show you how it works. So here we are, we have our beautiful battlefield, we have the stack and our life total off to the right, and on the battlefield we have Spike Feeder with its 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters, and we'll have Sun Bond attached to it in this example. Now the loop is pretty simple, you activate Spike Feeder's ability to remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from it to gain 2 life. That ability goes on the stack, and if it resolves, we gain our 2 life. Because we gain 2 life, the Sun Bond ability on Spike Feeder goes on the stack, and if that resolves, then we get 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters added on the spike feeder because we gained the 2 life. We can then remove a counter to repeat the process, gaining an indefinite amount of life and making our spike feeder as big as we want. The combo works similarly with Archangel Thune, but in a different way. We'll again use spike feeder's ability to remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from it. That ability goes on the stack. If it resolves, we gain our 2 life. Because we gain life, Archangel of Thune ability goes on the stack, and if that resolves, all creatures we control get a plus one plus one counter on them because we gained life. Now this will keep your spike feeder as a 2-2, two -two, but it will make all your other creatures as big as you want while you gain as much life as you want. Now this unfortunately leaves your spike feeder open to removal. And the same is true for the Sun Bond combo during the initial stages. For example, if you remove a plus one plus one counter from Spike Feeder and its ability goes on the stack, and an opponent responds with a removal like Lightning Bolt, that too go on the stack. Now, you can respond with another Spike Feeder ability removing the plus one plus one counter, but your Spike Feeder won't get any more counters on it from life gain because it's a zero zero and it'll die. Now if your spike feeder is bigger than a 2-2, you could potentially respond to a removal spell by in return removing a counter and then gaining life, putting more counters on your spike feeder, and doing so over and over again before the removal spell resolves. So say you comboed off, you have a million life, you have a sun mon on your spike feeder who's massive with a lot of plus one plus one counters, what do you do with that? Well, really, you can do whatever you want. You could fling it at your opponent. You could give that sucker trample and rampage right through. Or, you could play a joke card like Aether Flux Reservoir, pay 50 life and deal 50 damage to a player. Or, if you comboed off with Archangel of Thune, you still have your million life, but your board is massive instead of your spike feeder. In that case, you can just rampage through with the rest of your creatures. Or, you know, you're at a million life, so you can just sit there and win. A little side note on this, that Archangel Thune actually combos with a Persist card mentioned in a previous video. Kitchen Finks is a 3-2 creature for 1 and 2 green or white. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 2 life. And it also has Persist, which says if it dies and it doesn't have a Neg 1, Neg 1 counter on it, then it returns to the battlefield with a Neg 1, Neg 1 counter. Now when Kitchen Finks enters the battlefield and you gain that 2 life, all your creatures get a plus one plus one counter if you have Archangel of Thune on the board. When that Kitchen Finks dies, it'll come back with a Persist trigger with a Neg 1 Neg 1 counter on it. But oh wait, when it comes back in, you gain two more life. Meaning that your creatures all get a plus one plus one counter. This leads to the plus one plus one and Neg 1 Neg 1 counter on Kitchen Finks, cancelling each other out, both being removed. And then your Kitchen Finks is ready to die again and come back again. Now if you have a sack effect of some type, you can loop this to gain a ton of life and make your board huge. 
And that's all I got to say about Spike Feeder. It's a great combo. I think it's hilarious. It can be done in modern or put into one of your EDH decks. Let me know what you think about it in the comment down below. Have you ever tried to pull this off? And if you like Combo Breakdown or any other content I make on the channel, be sure to like and subscribe and share to all your friends. And as always, I will see you right back here on the internet.